Welcome to another episode of Three Hungry Guys. It's a little different than some of the episodes we've done in the past. Usually, we try to find little places that are little hidden gems out of the way, new restaurants. But today, we're here to celebrate a restaurant that's celebrating their 30th year anniversary. And this place is a big restaurant right in the heart of North Raleigh. They've got great food, great service. We're gonna spend a couple days here. We're gonna be here on Monday prepping meatloaf for Meatloaf Tuesday that they only run as a Tuesday lunch special. They make 40 pounds of it and they sell out before the end of lunch. So come along, enjoy the ride, and eat some great food, have some great cocktails. I'm in the kitchen with Chef Scott Waters. And we're gonna make meatloaf today. So Chef Scott, take it away and show right. us how it's done. What we have right here is our ground chuck. We grind this meat fresh just for our meatloaf. Grind it here in house. 40 pounds of ground chuck. First, I'm going to add diced yellow onions. Four cups of diced green peppers. Two and a half pounds of brown sugar. A one third cup of white pepper. One third cup of granulated garlic. One half cup of salt. Hans 57 sauce. This is 50 ounces of Hans 57. In other words, it's about three and a half pounds. Ketchup also, same amount as the Hans 57, about three and a half pounds. Italian bread crumbs. This is 10 cups of Italian bread crumbs. There we go. One and a quarter cup of whipped eggs. Last but not least, one and a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. And that basically makes up the mix for our meatloaf. Now I have to hand mix it. Who, who came up with the meatloaf recipe? Charles Winston Sr., one of the great recipes that the Winston family have developed, has developed, and we've been using it for 30 years. Pretty good recipe if it's been there around 30 years and it still flies out the door. Yeah, it does. People come in here just for the meatloaf on Tuesdays. It's well blended, thoroughly mixed together, ingredients are evenly spread throughout the whole batch. It takes a few minutes to mix it all together. That's about it. There we have our meatloaf mix. So, okay, Scott, so this, after it's all mixed, how long does this sit? What's the next phase? Yeah, this will sit overnight, and we'll pan it up tomorrow morning when we're ready to cook it in the oven, about an hour and a half. And then we'll, then we'll pull it out of the oven. Let it rest for a few minutes, we'll put a nice glaze on it. We'll put it back in the oven and cook it for initially up to 10 minutes and let that glaze seep into the meat nicely. And it is just literally the best meatloaf I've ever had. So now we're going to make a glaze. Okay, so tell us what we got here. This is Heinz 57 sauce. Four, four 10 ounce bottles of Heinz 57. We have four cups of Worcestershire sauce. Additionally, two pounds of brown sugar. We'll just give this a stir, blend all the ingredients together. And we'll hold this uh, until the meatloaf comes out of the oven, then we'll glaze it, put it back in, like I said, for another 10 to 15 minutes. And it's just a layer of yummy goodness on top of that meatloaf. Final stage, we're going to make a meatloaf gravy. So this is our meatloaf gravy. We have one gallon of steak sauce, our house-made steak sauce. One gallon. And our steak sauce is made from 50% au jus, which we make here, and 50% of our demi-glaze. A little bit of white pepper is just added in as well. That consists of our steak sauce. So one gallon of steak sauce, four 10-ounce bottles of our Heinz 57 steak sauce. We also have Additionally, one number 10 can of chef style tomatoes. Chef style tomatoes are a uh, nice thick tomato that has a nice thick blade and some syrup to it where it's not so thin. And then one teaspoon of white pepper. And that is all that consists of the steak sauce. We just stir it in, bring it to a little bowl, let it simmer for about an hour. So how long have you been coming to 
coincidence. Since they opened the door, I, I brought them beer the first day they opened <laughs> and wine. And they got great food. And I feel like I'm having the meat look. I've been eating that for 27 or 30 years now. It's delicious. Meat loaf with, Tuesday. With collards, mashed potatoes, and good gravy. And, and how long you've been coming here? I don't think uh, 30 years. No, not 30 years. <laughs> Since I was little, though, I mean, he's been coming here. He obviously brought my dad here and the rest of our family. We come here for Mother's Day, Father's Day, any special occasion. Today, we're just having lunch coming here on a Tuesday. So, um, so lots of faithful, loyal customers <laughs> because obviously they're doing a great job. So I'm here with Mark, who's been a regular for over 20 years, and he's going to tell us, he, he comes all the time from Meatloaf Tuesday. On Tuesdays, it's Meatloaf. Any other day, you can't get Meatloaf, no. so if you want your Meatloaf, you got to come yeah. Tuesday, and it's fabulous stuff. The crowd that shows up most of the time eating for, for just any strong. So, you've been coming here for 20, what's, what's your very favorite thing, or is it the Meatloaf? My very favorite thing, the meatloaf is really great, but you know, if you really want a rack of ribs, this is the place to go. I mean, it, it's a killer. It's a killer. So after slaving in the kitchen for two days, it's time to try the meatloaf. It looks great. It's one huge portion. I've been waiting it basically two days to try this. That is really, really good. I almost, almost swore I was so excited. The sauce and the glaze make the whole thing. There's that, there's a little bite to the glaze. It's spicy, you taste that 957 and the demi-glaze and the tomatoes. White pepper, little, little spicy bite at the end that gives it a, a knockout flavor. And you know, you have the onions and peppers in the meatloaf, it's fantastic. And I've never been a real big meatloaf guy, but this is probably one of the best, if not the best meatloaf I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that, but one of the best I've ever had. Since my co-host couldn't make it for the meatloaf section, my cameraman volunteered. How's the meatloaf, Madison? My mom always made horrible meatloaf, so I've always hated meatloaf. But this is the best meatloaf I've ever had. It's amazing. I would come back and get it. It's uh, redefined my definition of meatloaf. Mm hmm. That's really good. That's fantastic. Cut. Cut. Did your mom watch the show? <laughs>